we all have those days where you just want to cut the cord. Where the cable is bothering you, or you maybe don't have a bungee, or you simply don't like the look of cables in your setup and want minimal clean space. And it's why I love the wireless G403. The performance is fantastic, the shape is good, but having to recharge this thing every two to three days is just not something that I'm uh, into. And uh, having something like this, the Master 2S, that you don't have to recharge for 90 days, but the performance for gaming is not on the same level as this guy. So Logitech has a solution with the G Power Play. Allows you to charge the mouse while you're using it on this mouse pad so you don't look so evil wanting to cut up all your cords. Let's get started. Creativity is fueled by the best instruments. It doesn't always come easy and in the process you often realize how important quality is. The RD400 by OCZ gives you quality and speed with M.2 interface, Toshiba NAND flash and a PCI bracket, making it possible to focus on what matters. Invest in storage that makes a difference with a 5-year advanced warranty. And so the power play is expensive. It's basically a $99 mouse pad with uh, the ability to charge your mouse, but they can only charge the latest Logitech G703 and the 903 mice due to this proprietary nature of the charging module. And you cannot use your existing G403 or the G900 mice. So an upgrade path is non-existent from the previous iterations. So you get two mouse pad surfaces, one fabric one and one plastic one, both with excellent tracking, but the fabric has no texture on the bottom, so it's not usable on its own because it just glides all over the place while the harder surface can be used on its own but it's also a little bit thicker and adds a little bit too much height to the whole mouse pad all right so for reference here's my setup of course angled keyboard very large mouse pad and the g pro on top of it inside a mouse bungee so cable wise i don't mind the way this looks you know two additional cables from my peripherals is not an issue although i wish that my keyboard was wireless but the mechanical wireless keyboard is still a little bit farther away and for the mouse because i'm using the bungee it really is not an issue so it's time to plug this thing in so we can power while we play Alright, so this is what the G Power Play looks like in action. Of course, we eliminate the cable on the mouse, so that's nice and free. But uh, the mouse pad has to be connected to something, so I'm reusing my bungee so that it controls that cable so it doesn't just span across the desk like that. So the mouse pad has to be plugged in so it can pass the power so you can charge the mice. And also, there is a secondary sort of functionality built in into this uh, plastic frame here, aside from the RGB illumination, is that there is a receiver built in so if you're using any of these mice on it on top of it you don't actually have to plug in uh, one of these uh, you know tiny mini receivers into your PC by itself you can just use the G power play and because these products are sold separately all wireless mice come with that wireless receiver so you can potentially leave this inside your notebook while having uh, power and receiver charging on your desktop all through this mouse pad. So I appreciate the receiver being built into the mouse pad. And of course, uh, this is a little bit chunky still, but I'm assuming it's because it also has to connect all the electronics for the, the coil that's inside here. So you can, you know, charge the mouse. But this was the other option uh, before, if you want the receiver slightly closer to your mouse, you had this like little weighted brick that would allow you to position it closer to where your mouse pad was to eliminate the distance between the two. But now this is uh, very very nicely built in so if you're using the mouse anywhere around the vicinity you would still pick up and get tracking even if you're off the mouse pad because that is the receiver but you have to be on it in order to charge so the charging implementation is actually quite clever using the original pocket where you could add a magnetic weight but now you could populate it instead with a power core module for charging so it's basically acting like a bridge between the mouse pad and the battery inside the mouse and since the entire base is generating this energy field you're constantly getting 
generating power even if you're moving the mouse around so you can still charge it if you slightly lift the mouse too so there's about a one centimeter lift off charging distance and there is a convenient non-distracting led below the g to indicate charging uh, and i'm happy to report that uh, the led stays on when your system is powered off to indicate the mouse is charging overnight now it is important to not bend the power play base as the circuits inside of it are very delicate and I do wonder if there are any health effects on your wrist with uh, it being so close to this constant energy field that is being generated by the power play base. So what is it like not having to worry about charging your mouse ever? Uh, so as a concept that's awesome but from my experience the battery readings have not been entirely consistent. So for example, after three hours of using the mouse with the lights on, we went from 18% to 15%. So there was that slight drop, but leaving the mouse idle for 10 minutes, we got extra juice. So the charging I think is intentionally slow to preserve the battery life of the battery inside of here and also make sure that the mouse never dies. If you experience any decreases in battery, it will refill as soon as the mouse is idle. Plus it's recharging overnight when your system is off to make sure that you never get a dead mouse. And so as a concept, power play is amazing since uh, wireless gaming mice are becoming so good with performance, latency, sensors, all that stuff. But it's also very expensive at $99 and it only works with the two mice at the moment and it's not backwards compatible with previous versions of the G403 or the 900. And the size of the mouse pad, while good, I did get accustomed to larger pads for a lower DPI with games. But where I see this technology going forward is obviously expanding that area of where your peripherals can charge, maybe moving into the direction of charging a wireless mechanical keyboard. That would be amazing, charging your mouse, charging your phone, and I'm happy that Logitech has introduced a product that is working and that you can buy now. And of course, it's expensive but that is being the novelty of being first. And so that's it. Let me know what you think of the G Power Play in the comments below. Make sure to check out all these uh, relevant videos. Subscribe if you like what you saw, and we'll see you in the next video.